And speaking of crack cocaine chat, it is time for the Boss Man Jack update. That's right. Uh, first thing, a little detour before the Boss Man Jack uh, uh, main chorus. This is a black guy playing blackjack. Um, I don't know. This dealer made its rounds, uh, and it's funny, so we're going to watch it. Uh, the the black guy who's recording this is playing on um apparently his thing is called Randul Fanduel. Uh they have their own live live dealers and shit, but he's playing blackjack. Uh he's streaming and he's also talking shit to this guy, like this guy who's just working and he's trying to get him fired for some reason. So the guy that's streaming this is a total fucking dickhead. Uh, and thankfully the um the black guy that's dealing claps back at him. <laughs> Fuck that motherfucker. <laughs> he ain't talking about me. Getting fired. Who getting fired? <laughs> Yo! All bets is closed. Yeah, right. This your Let last see. day, Go buddy. Dealer show one of seven. That's why I got two jobs. I think if it was. <laughs> you up four in the morning playing blackjack. Fucking loser. <laughs> why are you trying to bug with me? Hold on. Facts. Sending that to your manager. Yo this ass fucking, I don't say this lightly, chat, but the guy that's streaming, I don't know who the fuck it is. He is what we call a snitch nigga. This guy fucking dealing hands and shit. And he's he's giving him shit. He's giving him a hard time. He's like, I'm sending this to your manager. How about you? How about you send your ass to jail, snitch nigga? Okay, fuck you. I hope they didn't fire this guy. Chances are he probably did get fired. But that's just how that shit is. But fuck him, like cunt. Anyone who har anyone who harasses people in the service industry, be it blackjack dealers or waitresses or fast food employees or like janitors and shit. Anyone who harasses service workers. I, I strongly believe that we should routinely like for, for small petty shit, like, uh, like harassment or some, or littering, we should like rigorously enforce, um, penalties that involve having to do service industry to, to the standards of that job. There was a, I think I read this on stream. There was a, an article I read where a woman in Florida, like, fl flew or uh, threw a, a, a Chipotle burrito at, like, the employee. And she reached a, a an agreement, a sentencing agreement with the uh, the court. And the judge allowed them to enter a plea deal that required her to work, like, 80 hours for, so, like, two full weeks at a Chipotle and uh so she could feel what it's like to work at fast food i think that we should do that with lots of stuff oh you littered you, you threw a trash bag on the side of the road that's tw that's that's 20 40 hours picking up trash on the highway i think if you do that people would have a greater appreciation for the menial task required to keep society clean and functional this guy should be for if this fucking streamer was forced to play blackjack for a week doing these these eight hour shift just sitting there dealing cards all day he would have a, a sudden appreciation for the people doing the work that's what i think john however let us not dilly dally um our boy boss man jack where's the video of this i know there's a fucking video of this oh here we go no this isn't it he played it on stream like eight million fucking times how do they not have this See so this one, he won't be losing in it. Yeah, where is the video of him actually winning? Mm, I'll play this as a compensationary compensationary prize. Too many wants to load. You may not. Here, I'll ask the Kino chat. Lee. Oh wait, no, I forgot. I forgot. The reason why I don't have a video of this is because he didn't stream it. He, um, he, yeah, he won, he won like, oh, he won, okay, he won like $27,000 and it was like off a 1,000 times hit on a, a $24 Plinko ball or something. And it's literally Plinko. He's playing that carnival game where you like 
drop a, uh, a a thing and it bounces down the middle and always lands on the sitter. Basically, he's playing that. Um, oh my gosh! 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 He hasn't lost it all yet. He's um. I think he's way down, but he's mostly gambling off stream. I don't know why. I don't know why he's 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 not uh, streaming it. Uh, I guess because he's he knows he's gonna lose, and he doesn't want people to make fun of him. Oh my gosh, dude! Oh my gosh! I like it when he dances. It's funny. It's funny to me, chat. He's been looking at Honda Civics. He's gonna buy a Honda Civic finally. Or, I mean, he's gonna lose it all, but he's he's really eyeing the Honda Civic. Oh he oh yeah he got oh oh yeah that's right okay so the way it works is that there's a, a statutory limit uh federal limit in the United States for how much money he's allowed to deposit per day and he does this weird thing where he withdraws money cuz he's like oh I'm going to cash out I'm going to take that money home I'm going to put that in the bank so he cashes out and then Throughout the day, he precipitously loses it, so he keeps redepoting. So he, he, even though he doesn't put any money in to begin with, he'll lose all of his money, and then or or you know he'll win big and then regain you know start withdrawing it and then redepot it all back in, and then he hits that ten thousand dollar limit. Well, obviously, when he has twenty seven thousand dollars to lose and he's redepoting it all, he'll hit that ten thousand dollar a day limit. And you can't expect my boy boss man Jack to be satisfied losing only ten thousand dollars in one day when he's got seventeen thousand more dollars in the bank to go. So uh, he'll start putting that money into other casinos. Well, that's against um, the rules of his sponsorship. If Stake fi finds him putting money into other casino wallets, uh, he will be uh, he will lose his sponsorship, which is eighteen hundred dollars a fucking week. That's a lot of money. That's like more than most people make as a job. So he doesn't want to lose that. Cause that's his playing money. Uh, so he, he depots it into other casinos and then just, he just gambles off stream as opposed to on stream. That's how he works. That's my boy. I think he's in the process of losing it right now. I don't think he's lost it all right now. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.